Hey. Hey, hey. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, uh, loving life as always. Oops, Beautiful. Spilling stuff, I'm so excited. <laughs> well guys, hey, I'm Jess. This is Sharky. I'm Sharky. <laughs> Welcome back to our weekly recap. <laughs> This week we had lots of exciting things to talk about and do. We tattooed, we did piercings and body mods, there was some jiu-jitsu involved, there were obviously some, uh, you know, lots of people coming through the shop, lots of stuff going on in our lives. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as we did. We are setting up and we're going to be working on a back piece. We're going to be doing a wolf with a stream and a forest and such. Super fun tattoo and everything like that. <laughs> I'm learning these catchphrases. So it's a black and gray tattoo, uh, relatively large in size. Uh, the elements that this guy wanted to incorporate were things like the forest and the river and uh, the wolf in the sky. He really wanted to emphasize the eyes. We set out to put together a design that did just that. And you can see that we put together a, a composition that I thought was pretty cool. So we have the wolf in the sky up top. We have the silhouettes of the trees coming down around the waterfront on the river. And then the river kind of winding through the valley there. It, it came out pretty cool. There's also another little hidden wolf down the bottom, um, kind of silhouette and howling at the sky wolf. So yeah, pretty wolf and awesome. We out here, <laughs> just had to catch this tattoo on Main Street. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful day happening here, Sharks Paradise. Great clients here. Tell us a little bit how you feeling right now. Hi, feeling good, yeah. loving my tattoo. Yeah, <laughs> look at that, you see this? I love color. mine. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Looking great. Yeah. <laughs> My great friend Kat, she came to me a little over a year ago. We were actually at our old location. A lot of you might have seen us up there, 1023 Main Street up by Walgreens in Longmont. What are you guys working on, Jess? Uh, just touching up some previous brows. This one's been a long time in the making, huh? Oh yeah. Since last summer. Kat had previous brows she had done years ago. She actually had cancer and lost her brows and somebody tattooed them a bit higher than where they would actually be. When she came to me, she didn't really know what to do. She needed some advice and I do what's called a lightning session. So I actually tattoo in a lightning solution and as I'm tattooing it in, it is pushing the ink out. It's really, really cool. It's a great option for people with too dark brows that want to go lighter and change the color or maybe they want to change the whole shape. So anyway, Kat came to me. We did five removal sessions and Right now, I think we were on her third touch-up on her fresh new brows. We finally got the color to like the perfect color, gave her a whole new shape, changed her whole game. She loves them, she's super happy. And I'm super happy that I was able to do that for her. Another thing that I do in the shop, it's called lip blush. A lot of women will come to me if they wear a lot of lipstick or maybe they just want a very natural color on their lips. Essentially, what I'm doing is just reshaping the lip making it perfect as I can, and giving it a nice blushed color. Some ladies go really bright, some go very natural. With this particular client, she wanted just a very natural lipstick color. So we did a very natural color and just lined her lips, blushed them in, made them look really good. And this way, when you're drinking a cup like this that's white, you can have pink lips like this and not get lipstick all over it. So it's actually really good. My husband loves it. What do you guys got going on over there? So we're gonna do some lip flush. Have you heard the joke about the uh, journey to, to not talk when they're done your lips? They call it a ventriloquist. <laughs> huh? Right? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs>
What's up everyone? Welcome back to another week at Sharky's Paradise and our weekly recap. Hello. First off this week, I got to do a uh, addition to a very old, I think it was like a 23 year old tattoo Dumbo on her leg. This lady came in with her daughter and it, they come and get tattoos once every like milestone in their life. So like 21, 25 or something like that, like 50 years old. I think they're both gonna get one when mom is 75 years old. And I believe that this one was a uh, 50 year old tattoo. So we updated her 21 year old tattoo. And uh, added a little uh, elephant stand to where Dumbo was supposed to be sitting. Hi, this is Devin. <laughs> Devin is my girl for the day. Yeah. She is going to do a fantastic job of completing my circus Dumbo on his little drum. Yeah. Pray for us that I don't <laughs> scream and make an embarrassment of myself. And I heard it's your birthday too. It is. Happy birthday. Thank you. It was really fun to do. It seems like we're going to be able to get a lot more additions done to that in the future. So it was really exciting to get to see an old healed piece and it healed up very nicely actually. The color really stuck. So I'm excited to go back in on that one and add some color to the elephant stand. Last week we got to talk about how I did a little start to a band around my dad's leg at the convention. Um, and this week he came in to get another uh, addition to that piece. He is a guitar player. He has been his entire life. Currently he's in a band. Shout out Tokyo Rodeo. You can see them at a lot of different spots downtown Denver. But he wanted a guitar pickup in the middle of his leg. So we did a little TV Jones, I think it was a humbucker pickup or something like that. I don't know much about guitars, but um, we got to add that in there. It was really fun to get to do. We're just doing like little by little pieces on him. I'm excited to continue that project. Oh, I'm wearing the same earrings. <laughs> Oh my god. No, gonna, no. Yeah, no, 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 I did the same no, thing, I did the same thing. I switched. What's up guys? It's Santi, also known as Ink by Bhakti on Instagram. This week I got to try out some new things. I'm super excited to share that with you. What are we doing today? You can't ask a question in the middle of a line. I didn't it's so what up. Doing. <laughs> so this week I got to do a cool walk-in piece. This lady came in, she had a trash polka sleeve that she had gotten done by another artist, which trash polka is really cool because it has a lot of big bright like red typically in it with a lot of geometric pattern and realism in front of it but she opted for some purples and blues instead and so we were just adding some honeycomb back into her sleeve to kind of finish up the look for her we are i did this whole no i'm kidding Sandy um, did this whole sleeve <laughs> you know? very good so she had this sleeve um so we're just adding a little bit more filler in there so that way it kind of completes the look she's going mm -hmm. for it's a lot of fun and it really helped me realize how much i actually enjoy doing pieces like that so I'm hoping to expand my overall style to something more like trash poker. You know, if it hadn't been for Cotton Eye Joe, I'd been married a long time ago. <laughs> Where did you come from? Where did you go? I am the music. It's still blinking. I think it's still recording. Oh. All right, I realized I really like trash polka, so I got to start a piece on my boyfriend. We did a nice big raven on the back of his calf with some geometric honeycomb as well as some dots. We're not fully done with that one, but I'm really looking forward to trying that out and finishing it up to see how I like that style and if I can get some more things in that style coming in through the door. Get a shot of that shirt. Oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. What's up, guys? This is Hector, Strikey's Paradise. You know, killing it another week. Definitely loving it. This week at Sharky's Paradise, I had the opportunity to tattoo a returning client of mine from when I was tattooing out of my house. And he got a tattoo of a cherub with a bag of money that said, thy will be done. Uh, pretty cool concept tattoo. He kind of let me have a little free range with it. And you know, he let me do uh, any type of font for thy will be done. So that was pretty cool. I kind of gave it a little like grunge, like gothic effect to it just cause like it looked nice. Last week I got to talk about a 
client of mine that uh, had waited a while for me to, you know, get through my apprenticeship to get back to doing tattoos again. And this week we finally got to color it. Came out so awesome, so many different colors. We use a lot of blues, purples, yellows, and greens, which I thought was awesome, just, you know, matching it all together, just giving her a final result, which was just perfect, you know. She waited a really long time for me, so I just wanted to give that, you know, love and support back because, you know, that's why we do it, you know. It's because of the client. They will wait for us just because they love our art, which is awesome. Sad, sometimes we have to make them wait, but end of the day, we definitely give them some cool art.